And since I have the uh, cam adjustable gears now is all I needed to do Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so all lined up. And as far as the crank, the arrow, I am on there. Now let's go check if I am able to put this uh, drill bit. It's all good for the exhaust. I can wiggle it side to side, so that's center. Now for the intake. All right, this one, uh, it goes in, but I have to force it on there, and I could not move it side to side. That's when this cam gears, the adjustable one comes in. Welcome back, guys. Hey, before I make any adjustment, I just wanna say, I would like to say uh, thank you to all my subscribers and for those guys that uh, recently subscribed, uh, welcome to my channel and I hope uh, I will put on some uh, good materials to all of you guys. Um, we'll see uh, how it goes. So we're back to adjusting this through time H22 cam gears. I have been building this motor on H22 for quite some time, for a long time, and I never did know, I wasn't aware that the camshaft have a hole in it. These two holes right here. I do have the maintenance manual for the Prelude, the H23 and H22. Now on the H23, the non vtec one, it specifically, maintenance manual is specifically say, use the pin to align your camshaft. So now, since I have learned and found out that this uh, H22 also have a, a drop-in hole, and I also have a problem with my intakes being off because of the uh, blocks got milled, and the head is previously been milled, so I, I'm not sure how many, but since I have a problem with it, I got too much slack on, on the belts that I think it's more than 10,000 total. It's got to be more than. Otherwise, I would not have any problem as far as like lining, lining those two, those cam gears together. I have tried everything as far as like li lining those two, these two up together. But whenever I line those two up, these two, the crankshaft will be off. So when I lined up a crankshaft, the exhaust will be good, but the camshaft will be off. I mean, you probably saw it on a previous uh, build that I already showed you that I'll be needing an adjustable cam gears. Anyway, so now I have the, ca the adjustable cam gears, and this is like I have shown earlier, this is the scenario that I have, it's just too tight. I just wanna make it better. It should be okay. I think I can run it, run this engine without even doing anything. But I just wanna make sure everything is all through, through dead center. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna loosen these five bolts and then, and then just uh, turn the camshaft accordingly, either to the left or to the right, just to align with my. Uh, double pin or a pin punch or a drill bit like that okay let's go do that so i think i'm gonna put on one degree retard right there but let me see if, I, if the pin will go in like that. Okay. I think that's good. Let me tighten this. Okay. Perfect. Now I can uh, wiggle it side to side. 
I don't have to force it on there. Just like the uh, exhaust cam. Good. So now, that will be my uh, new setting. So one degree. I have read on the, on the, on the web that when the, uh, the rule of thumb is what they say, I don't know if it's true or not. For every 12,000 material that was taken off on the block or on the head, that you have to adjust your cam gears or camshaft to about one degree. So I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not, but as far as like with, I did all my homework, research, and this is the only thing I can come up with. I could dial it, but I think this is more like a, an accurate way of doing this. They didn't put those holes for nothing. I would like to uh, remind my viewers, this is not uh, an instructional video. Uh, every engines are different. And for the guys that would have the same scenario like what I have over here, you know, like the uh, either the camshaft or the intakes being off, that uh, please do your research before you do any adjustment on your uh, cams. And I sure really like to, uh, if anyone that's come across on one of these, that the camshaft being off, uh, please make a comment and uh, uh, you could... Uh, shine some light on me because uh, at least this is not running yet so something that uh, an information that I can uh, I can use and since I did my research and I found out about the where you can use a pin punch to drop in on there and I'm just relying on that method I'm going to uh, Give it a torque for H22 is 15 uh, pounds a foot up to 20. So I'm using inch pounds torque wrench. So I'm going to set it to uh, 180, minimum of 180, 180. Okay. Yeah, before, remove that before I break that thing. This one is previously uh, tightened, but uh, I'll torque it anyway. And this one I already torqued this, the center bolts, but this one is, uh, it requires a torque of 37 pounds a foot. That's for a uh, Honda maintenance manual. Okay, and I think uh, that's just about it. And let me uh, give it a, uh, a turn, just to, since I made an adjustment, just to uh, make the belt relax. I don't know if you guys noticed on the previous video that my belt is jumping off. I think that's that's the uh, that's the product of uh, the cylinder head and the uh, block being milled off. I mean, it truly it needed some adjustment. So anyway, let's see if you could focus the. Uh, I'm gonna almost on the top dead center, right there. Recheck. It's good. It's good. And my uh, should be good. Where is the right there? Yep. Okay. Everything is good. I think uh, that's just about it as far as like adjusting my uh, my cam gears. And uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, I uh, did it correctly. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. And I think the only thing uh, left on this one is realigning my turbo as far as like the manifold.
or who knows I'm, I probably will make another one and I think that's just about it and this thing is ready to be dropped in and I will give this camshaft a rest and that should be it all right well thank you all guys and I'll see you guys back thank you for subscribing again I truly oblige okay I have these two camshafts laid out here because I want to show you what makes me believe that I did it correctly as far as like setting how much degree on those adjustable cam gears. Well, to begin with, normal position of our camshafts or the gears would be like this. It's horizontally straight. They're all aligned to one another. So since I learned that there's a witness hole the camshaft have a hole where you could use your pin punch. So if you dropped it, it goes in freely. That bad boy will be vertically straight. But since my camshaft is off a little, remember now, like I said, I have shown you that uh, I was able to put the, uh, the pin punch, but it's very tight and I could not wiggle it side to side so meaning it needed some improvement it needs some adjustment that's why I got that that adjustable one because I want to make it better so all I did was re uh, loosen the uh, five bolts and turn my camshafts towards the right till I was satisfied and able to drop the pin without hesitation or that it goes in freely so now, the pin punch sit vertically straight, like that. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, again, I would like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Bye, everyone. And yes, I went and got the, uh, the blue racing belts, guys. Might as well join the gang. Yeah.